Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. In this video, I will show you AI Content Optimization Workflow. This video is very important for your trending topics because this time algorithm is updated. So you need to create content for your website, for your business or anything need to be optimized by AI content. Okay, So I will show you one by one process how you can optimize your content and how you can do your website SEO just totally with AI. Okay. So let me show you one of the website before I am going to start. Let me show you the tool that is helping my business and also that is helping my website SEO. Let me show you. Here you can see, here is one of my website or one of my tool that I am using for my web SEO. Can you see that? Here is, here is my website. I already integrated here. And if I show you what is the benefit of this tool and what is the real or exact data of this tool, you can see this tool is showing the analytics of my web SEO. Let me explain again. I integrated my website just only to this tool and you can see this website is showing my analytics like how much impression, how much clicks I am getting from my website. They are showing this data and you can see here is the top pages information. Can you see that this tool helping me to identify which pages are top ranking pages and also which pages are working well and you can see they are showing the data impression and also the clicks and how many clicks how many impression I am getting from which page you can see this tool is showing and you can see if I show you in the AI recommendation option this tool is helping us to do the AI recommendation I will talk about this AI recommendation in the next part of this video you can see here is the optimized page option or if I scroll down here you can see this page is showing recent blog post that is created by this tool for my website you can see they are showing the explain details and everything here you can see here is my title and also the title title and you can see this tool is showing the images as well I have not created anything this tool is helping me creating everything like blog post title and also the images and you can see here is the keyword volume and also the action I needed to do but if I approve them from here then this tool is done everything for me and if I scroll down here you can see here is the optimized pages can you see that the optimized pages are working and focus keywords are and also the improvement and everything they are showing so I am recommending you to use this tool for your web SEO if you don't have any time to do the manual SEO. Like manual SEO needs more time to happen something. So I am recommending you to use this tool for your website SEO because this tool is like you can see the name of this tool is Boostify. Can you see that? Here is the Boostify. So this tool is helping businesses to do their web SEO. I all already told you about that. So you can use this tool and also integrate your website from here okay so let me go back to the topic how you can optimize your title with AI you can see here is the AI content optimization workflow if I show you what is the AI workflow or what is the step one by one you can see our first steps will be AI clustering or keyword research clustering or keyword research so for this you can use some of the tools like keyword clustering tool you can see here are the keyword clustering tools and this is the fast tool keyword cluster tools so now if I add some of the keywords from here like you can see what is keyword clustering keyword clustering means your keywords optimizes score and everything and also the keyword clustering is working for your businesses and also working for your gap or everything okay so let me show you the first keyword will be based SEO tools for beginners and the second will be SEO tools only okay and now if I click on the start structuring then you can see they are giving you lots of information or like lots of result so keyword clustering is the full of details so you can see I just added here best SEO tools for beginners and also SEO tools and they give us some of the information you can see 
beginners SEO tools recommendation and also the one best SEO tools for beginners and also the SEO tools and already clustered my the keywords okay now the second step is competitor gap analysis you can see if you search here like SEO tools for beginners and you can see there are lots of websites are showing you can see the first option is for Google here you can see the information the first thing is showing Google and the AI recommendation from the Gemini and some of the tools are showing here so if I scroll down here here you can see here is the some of the website they are showing this one this one here is this one here is another one and here is another one so the first website is backlinko the second website is SEO review tools the third is Ahrefs so most of the time you can see why they are showing on the Google so I search with SEO tools for beginners this is my keyword but this tool added or this website added best SEO tools that's mean SEO tools for 2025 this one is matched keyword and free SEO tools this one is matched keyword you can see they added SEO tools for 2025 that's mean they added the real-time data and they just added free SEO tools so they are not doing the real-time data okay so they used only the 2025 or real-time data that's why their website is in the first section instead of this the review tools okay so here you can see here is some of the video links here from Google and here is the another website you can see beginners guide to SEO so I added the beginners word here you can see and they also added the beginners but they are not added any kind of tools information that's why the gap is weak okay and you can see here is the 11 best SEO tools that's mean this is also not good so that's why you need to focus on your keyword clustering and also the keyword gap okay so I already showing you that keyword or competitor gap analysis the third is content you can see here is the content rewrite or optimization content rewrite means what you can see when I search with SEO tools for beginners with this keywords now here you can see if I show you this one like SEO tools for beginners can you see that SEO tools for beginners this is my keyword so when I will search with that you can see lots of information or lots of articles showing by some of the website so if I enter this website you can see here is the content here is the content here is the content so if you feel this content is working better or they are showing the content optimization ideas then you don't need to change this site or change this option or change this information but if you feel this video or this content is not working well for your website then I am recommending you to rewrite the content again and also optimize it again and the fourth number is you can see let me show you the fourth is internal linking suggestion what is internal linking internal linking means if I show you here is one website then you can see here are lots of information are there so if I click on you can see this word is linked if I click the Google Trends they will open the Google Trends so this called backlink but if I show you here is the service option and if I click article writing you can see they are not redirecting me to another website like before I clicked one like Google Trends they redirected me to the Google Trends website but if I click on the solution option and also the blog writing option then you can see they are not redirecting me another website they just redirecting me in the same website so you need to use some of the internal linking okay internal linking means the same website redirection like I already shown to you that when I click on the blog writing if it open the same website then you can call it this is an internal linking okay so I hope you understand now the AI based SEO audit if you click on the Google and search SEO audit checklist or SEO audit tool 
then you can see lots of tools will come from your suggestion and from your search engine you can see here is the SEO optimizer this tool is very helpful for SEO owners and all the SEO optimizers so you can use this tool for your web SEO or for your site health audit or AI based content audit okay so I hope you understand about the process and each and everything so I am recommending you to AI based SEO audit for using AI based SEO audit then you can use Boostify this tool help us lots of AI recommendation can you see that here lots of AI recommendation like total elements and how many are approved and also how many are not well optimized so you can use this tool for your AI recommendation if I show you the view all AI recommendation how many information they are showing to me you can see here is the full information so you can see they are monitoring my pages the monitored pages are 64 and also the out of 97 and you can see recommendation is 35 percent and you can see here the priority of recommendation the fixes is missing all take missing h1 take everything and priority is medium critical low high and suggestion is there and why it matters they are showing the detail as well and also you can see you can approve from here if you approve it then this tool will do everything for your web seo and you can see how many titles are approved how many meta description h1 that's when h1 tag images image title internal links how many i have they will show one by one in this tool okay but from the ai recommendation option so i am recommending you to use this tool for your website based seo so thank you very much i hope you understand about this let's see in the next video